extension, have my jersey retired. Um, I'm excited, nervous. I haven't been nervous in I don't know how long. Um, just looking forward to the night, watching the guys. I see them all summer. I'm upstairs every summer, so um, just to come back here and be able to experience something that I've never experienced before, definitely going to be an honor. What, is, what, what does it mean that you have your jersey retired tonight? I mean, I've been, my whole drive here, I've been trying to figure out the words to kind of express, you know, seeing your jersey go up. And I mean, I, mean, I, was, I was in school, what, 12 years ago? Um, and just to come back and it, it bring back so many memories that um, I remember the first day I walked on campus, being nervous, not knowing what the hell is going to happen, to coming back time later. I have my jersey retired, man. I can't even put in words, man. Um, is that I'm blessed, I'm happy, I'm beyond honored. Can you, can you take us back to 12 years ago? Um, what made you make the decision to come to USC? Um, one, I wanted to stay home, and I kind of wanted to take a different route than everybody else. A lot of guys in my class was going to all these big schools, going to the, 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 the obvious schools, wherever that may be. I just want to be different. You know, I always wondered um, why nobody want to go to SC. Let me go to SC and be different. Go out here, let me stay home and kind of experience some and kind of put notoriety somewhere else that I felt should get more notoriety. And even before then, I don't think I never even mentioned it. One of the reasons I even came to SC was Nick Young was one of my favorite players. Um, I always used to watch Nick. Um, I used to go to, even before they moved to the Gala Center, I used to go to SC games and watch Nick play. I watched them playing a lot of open run games and it was one of the reasons um, why when they come to SC, I wanted to be like Nick. I never tell Nick this, but <laughs> they used to want to be like Nick. And, um, and a couple of years later when I had the opportunity, it was kind of a no brainer for me. What is it about this experience that makes you nervous coming in? Um, I mean, it's, a, it's, it's different, you know, it's, it's, I always told people one thing I regretted about college is that I didn't enjoy it more like I should have, you know, a lot of guys in our position, you know, when you, you have the opportunity, you kind of be one and done, you kind of want to get in and kind of hurry up and get to the league. Um, and the great times kind of pass you by so fast. And for me, that year went by so fast to so where I look back on it. And not knowing that was my last year of being a kid and being just happy and free, you know, and being here, I was happy, free. I was, I was, I was on top of the world, you know. Um, having your freedom for the first time, even though I'm from 15 minutes away, it was like I got my own place. I could leave and go as I please. So, you know, I'm, I'm grown, but I'm still a kid, and I'm doing what I love to do. And that's one thing I, I, I always hold on and cherish, but also regret that I wish I would have indulged in it more. Can you talk about the sense of pride from the conference championship game, 23 points? And it's really the last time the team won the tournament. Yeah, I remember, I remember that tournament, even a couple, even before the tournament started, I remember it was a big thing uh, that we had to win a tournament to get a bid in a, in a um, tournament. And I remember sitting, going back to my dorm and sitting there saying, my biggest dream was always to play in a tournament. And I said, if, if it takes us to have to win this Pac-10 tournament, I'm gonna do everything in my power to make sure we win it. And to look back on it and and to win it, and me getting the MVP of that tournament, and um, first time in school history and going to the tournament. Uh, I mean, it was like one of those movies, like it was a movie scene to me, it was something that, I couldn't believe, and I just remember going, I think we played in, in Minnesota. Uh, I remember playing in a big football dome and just was was amazing. It was everything, and all of a sudden, you know, now you're an NBA player, you know, so that's one thing I definitely remember. What, what advice do you have for guys that want to rush and go to the league? And Enjoy it, man. Enjoy it. That's my biggest. That's my biggest advice that I definitely would, would give is enjoy being in college every single day going to class, going to school, um, going to work, every workout, no matter if it's early in the morning, two times a day, your coach on your back, 
everything because that's the most free you're going to be playing basketball and doing something you love to do as a kid. Because once that moment is gone, it's too hard to get back. I mean, you, you never get them back. So for me, enjoy it. Enjoy the process of being in college. Because once you're in the league, it's just, you know, all type of workouts. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a different type of reality. Granted, we all work to want to get there, but <sighs> take it step by step. Man, what would you say? Like, what if they need the money? You know what I mean? I mean, you know, I'm not saying, you know, go to school for four years. If, you know, if you have the opportunity to leave after one or two years or three years or even go four years, enjoy every moment of it. You know, just enjoy the moment. You know, not don't be so much in a, in a hurry to want to get to the NBA. It's going to be there, you know, but enjoy college every single day because once you're gone, there's no going back. Your daughter wasn't able to watch your college career, obviously. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to have her here today? It means everything. Like my two daughters, um, to be able to come back here, witness this, they see mm -hmm. my, my pro career. Mm -hmm. um, so to come back here um, and them see it means everything to me. You know, now I can just tell them this is where daddy went to school. Now y'all got to go to college and go to school. <laughs> you know, just be that motivation and inspiration for them to be able to witness and experience something like this. You know, it means it means everything. I mean, they've seen so many all-star games, big-time games, playoff games in the NBA, but to see where it kind of start from really means really means a lot because, you know, they going I want them to go to college and be able to experience the same thing even if it's not in sports, just understand like this is the college atmosphere. This is where I came from and you know, these this is where I want y'all to go. As a former player, what's it, what's it like for you kind of seeing SC kind of gain the upper hand in recruiting class in the past couple of years? I mean, it, it means a lot. It means a lot. I promise you, my, 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 I always wondered, like, why all the top guys wouldn't want to come to L.A. with the weather, school, you downtown L.A. Everything that's positive you can think of is right here. You know, and imagine if, if you had them number one recruiting class come here and, and, and the noise and, and everything that had come to playing at SC will bring will be event, will be amazing. We need to uh, stop them here and tip-offs in about 10 minutes. Jessica needs you tomorrow. So right. thank you very much for joining us. Appreciate it.